guys, I'm Fergal. And I'm Marcelina. And, and welcome to Skip This! Here we go! Hey guys, and welcome to Skip This. It's the show where if you send in your funny videos and we play them, you get $150 in cash and a $50 toy voucher. How cool is that, Annie? So, Marcelina, you said we had a bunch of amazing celebrities this season. So, who do we have today? Well, she's one of Australia's best celebrity chefs. Who? <laughs> All the way from Poe's Kitchen, it's Pauling Yao. She might have some chicken. <laughs> chicken and... Can you hear us? Poe looks a bit busy right now. We'll come back to her later. Hey, Marcelina, you know what I feel like watching right now? What? One of the videos that you guys sent in. Sounds good. Hi guys, it's Lorraine again. Time to make my sister a PBJ. Ingredients, peanut butter, jelly, and sister. Make sure to add lots and lots of peanut butter. Very good. I love it. Just wonderful. Time for jelly. Don't forget the bread. And I know my sister just loves a good gallon of milk to go along with her PBJs. Not again. Ooh, jelly. Like I said, I made my sister a PBJ. See you next time on Lorraine's cooking channel. I should go help my sister. <laughs> that was one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. <laughs> you guys are so talented. <sighs> hey, Marcelina, are you any good at puzzles? No, but my Hadja is. Why? Doesn't matter. <laughs> It's a little late for that, dear. Let's go check in on Poe. Hello, Poe! Here, Poe! Oh, she's busy in the garden. We'll get back to her later. Hey, Fergal. Want to see what MK and Cyrus are doing? Yes! What's up, guys? MK here. Cyrus here. And today we're going to help some people by seeing how many people we can herd into a dead end. Let's do it. Hey, mate, if, uh, if you can, can you just please just go through this way? Sure, if you please. just wait at the door, thank you. Yeah, good. Is it okay if you just go straight through the bar, straight into the door, please, for me? Thank you very much. We're just kind of going across in that way. Stay there for me for five seconds. Just got to make sure it's okay with Cam. Thank you very much. I need to make sure people go through these ways. Yes. Just for now, thank you. Just wait at the door, thank you. Stay through this way, stay through the ball. Thank you very much. No, you. Just stay through that door, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Stand right behind that fire door, please. Been busy? Halloween decorations. You going Halloween party? Yeah. Not bad. It's okay, I've just wait here for five seconds. Just to make sure I stay for the security. Just wait at that door, thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Happy Halloween. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry, you can go through here now. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Bro, that's like the worst setup I've ever been in. 
Thank you very much, sir. You can, you can call him out now. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Let's go, fake it, fake it, fake it. Psych, oh, not today. Come on, come on. Okay. That's a dead, that's a dead, that's a dead. Slap me up, right? Yeah, like, that's a, fake it, fake it, fake it. I love those guys. They're pretty good, aren't they? Hey, I reckon we can get onto Poe now. Oh, cool. Poe. Poe. Oh, hi, Marcelina. Hi, Fergal. Oh, there you are, Poe. Hey, Poe. It's so good to have you on the show today, Poe. Hey, what have you been doing lately? Well, I'm really busy as per usual. So I'm running my little Sunday bakery jam face as per usual at the local farmer's market. And I've been, um, I fulfilled a lifelong dream of designing my own homewares and writing my next book and also painting. Homewares, can we have a look? Sure. So here's a plate that I've designed with these little fishies and lotuses that I've been painting for over 20 years. And then this one is a tea towel that's inspired by my little doggos, Rhino and Timmy, with all the things that are good for you, fruit and vegetables. <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable? Ooh, that's a hard one. I know it's technically a fruit, but I'm gonna say tomatoes. I love them. But Poe, what are you doing now? I'm actually doing a squiggle for draw this. Oh, can we have a look? Everyone at home is going to have an amazing time making pictures with that. I am so excited to see what all of you are going to send in. Hey Poe, we have a skip this challenge coming up with our very own chef, So Messy Cook, and we sent you a preview of it. Uh, what do you think? Well, actually, I kind of identify with the way she cooks because I'm an artist, so the way I behave in the kitchen is a little bit chaotic. It was really good talking to you today, Poe. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks so much for having me. See ya. Bye, Po. Bye. I'm the Game Chef. Today we're going to be making a great Aussie special. We're going to need five cups of Aussie flour. Mix until the ingredients are combined. Then to add some spice. Two chilies. A dash of milk. Add the ingredients and mix them gentle squeeze of sauce and add a little bit of love. I love you. You're the best. You've got it all in. Put all the ingredients on the trash and place it in the oven for seven hours. Oh, that must be the timer. Oh, looks great. The old Aussie Vegemite sandwich. Bonza. Love it. See you next time. And now it is time for Narita this. Today's story comes from Ashish Samuel who is 11 years old. Once upon a time there was a princess living in a castle. Help, help, she cried. A brave knight came about and said, I'll save you. He swooped in and grabbed the princess out of the castle. There you are, all safe and sound, said the knight. Safe and sound, asked the princess. Whatever do you mean? Whatever do I mean, asked the knight. You cried, help, help. So I came in to save you. Oh, well, I just needed help with my mad homework. What did you mean? The end. You guys have been sending in so many amazing stories, videos, and lyrics. Keep them coming in. But surely now it's time for my favorite part of the show. The Skip This Challenge. It sure is. Let's see who is the very first Skip This Challenge winner. Oh no! My dog is stuck in that burning building! Will anybody help me? Never fear, Superdance is here. Oh Superdance, my dog is stuck in that burning building. Please help! Don't worry, random citizen. I can help you. Help! My dog is trapped in the burning building over there. There's no Just... time for dancing. Help my dog! I'm not the fire brigade. Give them a call instead. Exit!
<laughs> Make sure to check out the extras tomorrow to see what the real ending is. Now, let's go check out this week's Skip This Challenge. And welcome back. I'm So Messy Cook, and today we're going to be making a very special, traditional African dish called okra soup. Alrighty, let's get started. Now, first, you've got to make sure that your pot is on. Just, oh, just a bit hot there. Um, now we've decided to do it a bit differently today. We've already got the water boiling, nice and hot. Just be careful; do not burn yourself. Um, now let's start off with some olive oil. Yup, just put some in the in the pot. You know what? On the table is fine too. <laughs> Won't make a difference. Um, now we're just gonna put in some onion. Just you know, just chuck it in there or on the table. That works. Add in some dill. That doesn't doesn't even matter at this point. Just flavour. All I can see is flavour. Put in some garlic. You know, peel gives it that extra. Oof, you know. You, oh onion peel, even better, even better. Now we're going to be putting in our meat. Yep, just get a bit of that, chuck it in. Yep, that, that, that works, it looks great, look at that. Now we're just going to put in some tomato paste. Squeeze some of it into the, ooh, yes, get into it, beautiful. There we go, love that. We're going to put in some salt and pepper. Look at that, it's beautiful. And now for the most important part of the dish. We're really looking forward to see what you guys come up with. Over to you. But make sure to have your funny video sent in by next Wednesday. If you're new to Skip This, we have activities you can do every day. And funny videos you can watch every day. Until next week's episode comes out. So you're probably wondering why we're wearing our Jerry's House t-shirts. Well. You may remember, Jerry's House was our charity partner from last season. And the $50 toy vouchers that we give away are for the Jerry's House store. Here's a video of their ambassador, Lockie Graham, from season one, talking all about it. What is Jerry's House? Jerry's House was created by Jerry Lewis and me, Lockie Graham. The goal is simple, bring humor therapy and relief through the use of comedy and laughter. So what does laughter matter? There are many forms of suffering in the world from people living in desperate situations to those who are dealing with mental and physical health issues. But each and every one of them can benefit through humour. When we laugh, our brain triggers the release of endorphins, our body relaxes, lets go of tension, our blood flow increases, we burn calories, even our immune system receives a boost. Laughter is the universal language. It crosses all boundaries, all races, all ages, all religions. It doesn't discriminate. Jerry's House brings humour therapy to the places it is needed most. Be a part of the legacy of laughter. Support Jerry's House today, and then tomorrow, and then the day after. Where'd you get that from? From the Jerry's House toy store. Well, did you get one for me? You already know I 